Okay, this video is aimed at people who currently cannot run or cannot run very far and who want to implement running and be able to, within two to three months, run for three to five kilometers without stopping. And this is a tried and tested method that many beginners that I've coached have used and can now run way further than 5K. And it's exactly the same method that I used when I started running. My first run, I went out and I couldn't run for more than two minutes. Within four months, I was not only able to run 5K, but also winning 5K races. And I took that platform and went on just a few years later to represent in my country in the marathon and also my country in 100K. So if I can do that, pretty sure you within two to three months can get to three to 5K without stopping. Now the first month, the first 30 days is essentially implementing the habit and consistency. And as unsexy as that sounds, the way that we're going to make it work for us is we've got to make it fun. If it's fun, you're gonna to wanna to do it more. And if you do it more, you're gonna get better at it and it's gonna become even more fun. It doesn't matter whether you're learning a language, whether you're learning to play the piano or whether you're learning to run, the more fun it is, the more you're gonna to wanna to do it and the better you're gonna, be gonna become at it. It's as simple as that. What we're gonna do for the first 30 days is just go out there and run as slow as you possibly can for one minute at a time. We're gonna run one minute and then we're gonna walk one minute and we're gonna run one minute and walk one minute. 10 times one minute with one minute walking in between for the first 30 days. So that's 15 runs, and on the days that we're not running, you're still gonna get up, the kit's gonna be laid out the night before, you're gonna hardwire the habit by going out for a walk on those in-between days. So that means that within those 30 days, you've run 15 times and you've walked 20 minutes 15 times also. You've hardwired the effort. And it takes between 30 and 40 days or 30 and 40 reps in order to get that habit into your schedule. You want to get to a point where it feels strange if you're not going from your bed to getting hydrated, drinking some water, and then getting out in your running shoes and either walking or running. It, you want that to feel strange. The faster you get to that point, the further you are along your journey to becoming a runner. What I want you to focus on with the running is running as smooth and as light as you possibly can. Smooth, light, and later will come fast. But it's about becoming efficient at running over the ground. So if you think of the most stylish runner you can possibly think of, it's probably somebody like Eloid Kipchoge, who most, most people know but think about you as an efficient vehicle, as a vessel moving over the ground. So I want you to bring your arms up just above chest height, keep them close to your body, and focus on your toe, ankle, knee, hip, all being aligned, and land in mid-foot. If you're able to do that, and you're essentially practicing running for 15 days of those 30, first 30 days, then you're well on your way to becoming an efficient runner. In the second month, we're gonna break it up into 10 days, 10 days, 10 days. For the first 10 days, all we're gonna do is increase the distance that we're running, increase the time that we're running to 75 seconds. And we're just gonna walk for 45 seconds. So 10 times 75 seconds with 45 seconds rest. What that's gonna feel like is you've gotten used to, in the first 30 days, 60 seconds being your rest. And so your heart rate will go from and your breathing is out of control to, okay, we're under control, we're going again. Now you've only got 45 seconds. So what you're doing is you're teaching your body to go further whilst you're running and teaching your body to recover faster in those 45 seconds. So that will be five runs in the first 10 days of the second month. The next 10 days, so the next five runs, is you going 90 seconds and walking 30 seconds. So 90 seconds running, walk in 30 seconds times 10. So then you're up to 10 times 90 seconds with 30 seconds rest in between. And again, it's the same game. So if you're able to do that, you're able to run for 15 minutes total volume and you're only resting for five minutes. So 15 minutes, five minutes. And then what I want you to do is 10 times two minutes with one minute rest in between. So I want you to take the running up to two minutes 
So double the distance or double the time that you're on your feet running than you were at the first rep for one minute. 10 times two minutes, 20 minutes total volume, and you've also got 10 minutes walking in between. So the session increases to 30 minutes, but 20 minutes of that, two thirds, is you running and teaching your body to run over the ground exactly as before, as efficient as possible. So you're practicing running, but you're able to practice not for 10 minutes, but for 20 minutes. Now, at this point, some of you who maybe have ran before or maybe have got a sporting background, it will start to feel easy and these progressions might feel too easy. You might be able to go out there and run for five minutes or 10 minutes without stopping. For you that are new to running, and the progressions feel quite tough, so it's quite tough to go from 60 seconds to 75 seconds, 75 seconds to 90 seconds, 90 seconds to two minutes was maybe a big jump. Slow and steady wins the race. So continue on with those progressions into month three. But what I want you to try to focus on is getting to five minutes without stopping. So again, focus on being slow and efficient over the ground. Focus on minimum effort and having that style absolutely dialed in and moving over the ground really well, really smooth and light and try to be able to cover two and a half minutes, three minutes, four minutes and eventually five minutes. And if you can get to a point where you can run four times five minutes with maybe a minute rest in between or a little bit more if you need to, but ideally keep it at a minute so that you're teaching your heart to go from high to low within just 60 seconds, it's a very powerful weapon to have in running. So four times five minutes, with just four minutes rest where you're walking over the ground, all of a sudden it becomes very, very, very simple to go from that point to being able to run three kilometers or five kilometers without stopping. Remember, initially, we're building aerobic capacity. We're building the base. We're building the base of the triangle. And that means that we're building endurance and we focus on endurance, not speed. So just when you're running, focus on it being conversational. It's super comfortable for you to have a conversation, almost full conversation, but ideally you can get paragraphs out, and not kind of lose your breath too much and you're able to continue to move over the ground. That's the feeling that you want to aim at. Again, it's about keeping it fun. So if that means you're going out there with a buddy and you're keeping each other accountable, you turn up at the same time every day and it gets done, whether that's a walk or a run, again, it's gonna help hardwire the effort, but at the same time, be prepared to be alone. For me, the mental side of running and what it will give you is way more than the physical benefits, which are many, and the physiological benefits that we're working on. Number five, listen to your body. As I said at the start, we're not learning a language or learning to play the piano. We're using our body physically to move over the ground. And although we're focused on endurance and not speed, we've still got to listen to our body and think, was that enough or was it too much? Do I need to back off, and maybe take an extra rest day? It's about following the plan, but not mindlessly following the plan. If you're feeling beat up and your body is feeling beat up, but it will probably feel like initially your calves will be under quite a lot of stress because you're not used to that forward repetitive mo motion of running. A lot of us in the modern day are spending a lot of time in the car, a lot of time at work, a lot of time at home, but not a lot of time walking. And so if you're going from a base of walking lots, it's gonna be much easier for you. But as I said, in between days, you're walking as well. So it's helping to build those lower leg muscles and make ourselves a more robust, powerful runner. Pro tip number six. If you can insert your running first thing in the morning, you literally wake up and within 15 to 30 minutes, You've drank water and you're out there either running or walking and you're hardwiring that habit. Not only is there not 101 things that can get in the way of your working day, a Zoom call, a meeting, somebody needs your time, children, partner, etc. Nothing can get in your way if you put this first thing in your day. And by prioritizing it and using your best energy on running, inserting that habit and making it work for you and watching the results compound, it is so much more powerful than if you leave it to later on in the day and then you're just trying to get it done because you want to tick that box. 
incredibly important. And I think you will get 10 times more from it in terms of the ability to run and move faster over the ground and the power to burn fat and tap into fat as a primary fuel source rather than glycogen if you do it first thing in a, if you run first thing in the morning before you've eaten and you've just drank on water absolutely perfect so that's it you just need to stick to the plan and initially you should be excited you're motivated and it's about turning that initial motivation into discipline and consistency so that those efforts, those repetitions that you're doing will compound and turn you into a runner who can run three to five kilometers very, very quickly without stopping. Now you'll feel great about yourself, both physically, physiologically, and mentally. And once you tap into that mental side of running, whole new world. If you got anything from this video, please like, subscribe, help out the channel. We're trying to build the best running channel on the internet.